when you hear Oye Depo, huh? there's one person that comes to mind. And so I told myself when I was going to get married that it will come to pass that every time people hear of Odoma, there will be only one person that will come to their mind. It will no longer matter whose first name it was. A man can make himself strong for a house. And I know that you are complaining. I know you are not happy. I know if you have a choice, you will choose a different family other than the one out of which you came. But I want to say to you that it is too late. It's too late. You are where you are. But I can say to you that it didn't take God unawares. You may even be like Solomon, the son of the other woman also. When it was time for David to choose a king, all the wives that David married legitimately, none of their sons was God's choice. It was the son of Bathsheba. They may not have planned to have you, but you were God's plan before you became his man. Whatever the antecedents, whatever the history of your life may be, maybe you don't even know who your biological father is. Right where you are is a good place to start from. Every time you talk about King David, you think of a king with so much royalty and power, where did David get the dexterity of life and the skill of hand that he had so much? It was in those days of his seclusion, hated by friends and family, rejected by father. So I know everything your daddy could have done that he did not do. And everything that your mama could have done that she did not do. But now the ball is in your court. And I came to ask you, what will you do for your house?